So it's pretty clear you want to buy it. But hold your horses for just a moment and let me show you all the pros and the cons of this product. So please take a moment, watch this short video that I've prepared for you. Thank you. Hey guys, Josh here, and today I'm going to be covering my initial impressions of the Piano for All program. So sort of my first couple days with it, getting used to it. And I bought the program for $39, which was 50% off its original price. And it still is 50% off last time I checked, but I don't know when that's gonna last. But I thought $39 is really good, especially compared to some of the other programs that I checked out, which was Playground Sessions, and Piano Marvel, which are subscription-based services. But since I'm in grad school, I don't have a lot of money, I decided to opt for the cheaper one, Piano for All. And after I purchased it, I got a download link where I downloaded a one and a half gigabyte file. So it was pretty hefty. And it was just a bunch of PDFs with embedded video. And I set up my Surface Pro just on my music stand. And then I just go through the lessons one by one until I master it, and then I move on. And from what I've gathered so far, the curriculum itself seems to be pretty well laid out. It starts off getting to know the notes of the keyboard, which is great for a beginner. I already knew the note names going into it, so I didn't really need to go through that. I skimmed through it, but I didn't go into much great detail with that. Next, it covered chords, which I think is really the strength of this program. A lot of traditional methods, especially when I was learning guitar, was to first teach melodies so you'd learn simple things such as I mean that's great and all. It's good for getting a good foundation, but the problem is is that melodies aren't very transferable. Whereas chords are transferable among songs. If you see a C chord in a song, and then you look at another song that has a C chord, it's going to be the same thing. It might be played differently on the keyboard, but the same general structure is the same. So that aspect of the program I like a lot because you're able to apply what you learn to songs that you want to learn later on down the road. The other thing that was very beneficial about the program is that it taught finger position, which is something that I never learned before. When I was first learning chords and things, I would just do whatever was comfortable for me, but that didn't necessarily translate into it being the correct method. So I went over the correct positioning, and I will say it was tough for me to get a handle on it at first. My hand was not comfortable in the position that the program wanted my hand to be in, but after about, about five days or so, the soreness went away. And I can't say that it's 100% comfortable right now, but it's definitely, I don't really notice it anymore. But the instruction itself is very clear. The instructor, Robin Hall, has got this killer British accent, and he has these PDFs with embedded video and audio. So you watch a video for each of the lessons, and it goes through him at the keyboard, and then it has an animated keyboard at the top with the keys that are lit up that you're supposed to press. So it's really good for visual learners. The audio files are really helpful because you learn a lot of songs very quickly, at least the chords of the songs, and the audio allows you to hear how it's supposed to sound so that you don't have to go back to the video and try to find where it was in that video. So that just adds a level of convenience to it. There are a couple things that could be improved upon, maybe for some people. It doesn't have some advanced features. Like there's some programs that have MIDI input. So like you would take your keyboard, plug it into your computer, and you would play along. And then it would tell you what notes you got wrong and trouble spots that you need to work on. This doesn't have that. It's just PDFs and videos. But I mean, if, if you have ears that can hear, I mean, you can tell where your trouble spots are. I mean, if you play a chord and something sounds bad, I mean, that's a clear sign that that's something that you need to work on. So I personally think the MIDI input thing of other programs is a little gimmicky, 
but you know, I could see that being an obstacle for some people for this program. So I just wanted to point that out there. Another thing that I thought was a little interesting was that the instructor doesn't really go into a lot of detail about what to do with the left hand when you're learning chords. So he teaches you how to form the chords in your right hand and what fingers to use, but for the left hand, it's left kind of open to interpretation, really. You can watch the videos and you can see what fingers he uses, but he doesn't explicitly tell you which ones to use. And maybe that's intentional, or maybe that's something that's covered later on. But just something that I thought maybe could be improved upon if this course was ever revised. But overall, I'm really pleased with the program, it, especially for $39. I, I think it's a steal. Uh, there's like a 60-day money-back guarantee. I don't know how easy it is to return software like this, but I, I'm not going to need to return it, so I, I wouldn't know. But over the next video, what I'm going to do is cover weeks one through three, because I have owned this for three weeks. I just wanted to do my initial impressions of it first, because I want to keep these videos somewhat short so that you're not sitting here forever. So next video, we'll cover weeks one through three of the course. Uh, there's going to be a decent amount of material to cover, so it probably will be a little bit of a longer video. But again, if you have suggestions for things that I can add to my videos later on, I'd love to hear them. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.